Britain just squeezing it on, getting away nicely ahead of Germany on their uh, outside here. And away smooth and relaxed. We've got the United States of America in one, Greece in two, Great Britain in three, Germany in four, Serbia in lane number five, New Zealand lane number six when we're alongside here. We're watching the German crew here, the World Cup leaders, hence their yellow jerseys underneath their racing singlets. Now the Germans are starting to whip it up here, getting a bit more bow speed, challenging alongside the uh, British crew. And you've got Greece up their line, lane at number two, and the Greeks will be quick in the first 500 meters. Germany, interestingly, they have been swapping um, athletes between the eight and the four to try and find uh, the best combinations. The eight is their priority boat, and they're world champions, reigning world champions. Uh, haven't been beaten in 25 races, but the four, because some of them have come out of that eight into this four, as Bushbacker, their coach, uh, tries to uh, juggle to get his best his best combinations. So it'll be interesting to see how this four uh, shapes up against the British four, who are now just beginning to edge away. They've got about a quarter of a length lead on the field, looking very calm, very nice bit of uh, racing there, letting the boat travel between the strokes very nicely. A new coach for the British Four this year, John West, has come back and was coaching the, uh, the eight and is now looking after the Cox's Four. And uh, very cool, calm, uh, very experienced coach, working well with this combination here. And also uh, having uh, Tom James back in at the three seat really has worked well. Remember, Tom James is Olympic champion from 2008 in the men's Cox's Four. He took a year off in uh, 2009 and he was injured in uh, 2010 timing it very very nicely here slotting into that three seat and the british crew now can just enjoy this second 500 they've come out to almost one length just uh, laying down the race plan if they know histrionics at all they'll know they have a big push of a thousand meters thereabouts and that should really open them up what tom james does when he gets into a boat sitting there at three he allows the others to row long to relax he's so flexible and such an easy he's not a big guy he's rather like tim foster was in the red grave four in sydney remember how tim foster just sat into that boat at at, uh, at three and allowed the big guys just to have a bit more time to row so they they just flow along and he does that job beautifully here. Tom James started his, uh, his uh, rowing career, uh, international career at the Olympics when he was uh, 19 years old. Uh, but he's a, a, just a very flexible, easy rower. They've just taken a length, just gradually, easily, no histrionics, they've just moved steadily ahead. Very good form. So coming up towards the halfway mark and the uh, boats in the far side, the teams will receive, you know, the teammates, uh, encouragement, shouting, and that really will uh, move the British boat up. In. Now, going through, 1,000 metres down, 1,000 metres gone, and we have about three quarters of a length of clear water. What a position for the British crew. Very importantly here now, the British have to lay down an even bigger benchmark because there's so much going on, whether it's this year or next year, but we have a pair that may well want to go into this, Hodge and Reed, because their pair is obviously not going where they, as fast as they'd like it to. But looking at the British pair, British four here, they don't need that pair. They are just out there, Dan. It's a, a very... What do you do? What do you... I mean, you've got a great boat here that is going well, beating everybody in the world now. And you know, what do you, you put those two guys in, Hodge and Reed in, well, and does that sort well, of just upset the balance? Part of the equation is that you've got an eight that is just finding it difficult to beat the world champion Germans. Just strengthening that eight with two guys out of this boat or a pair going into that boat would strengthen the eight and produce the chance of a gold medal in the eight. Now, that would be part of the strategy through the winter as they try to work that out. But aren't we spoiled? I mean, look at this. Brit Great Britain is just winning up in the front in the front of all of this all the time. And it is quite remarkable. And it's partly to do with money as we lead a build up to the Olympics. 24 million quid has gone into the British team and really got so as uh, you know, it just shows that that kind of investment really, really pays off. So the British crew now ahead into the last quarter of this race. Not going to see too much really from them. They're just going to contain their position, just hold off Greece in lane number two. The uh, Greeks were the far second fastest of the uh, qualifying across the two semi-finals. So they themselves, though, are going to be pushed hard by the United States of America in, in lane number one. USA fantastically fast finishes. They were lying in fifth position in the semi-final. They came right the way through to, uh, to qualify. Um, 
they're the best four American uh, four rowers in the American squad, and uh, they've put this boat together in the hope that they can really challenge at the uh, at the top level. But they're you know, they're out they, they're in, in, in third third place, bronze medal position, but they ain't going to catch Great Britain, who look just so strong. Matt Langridge there from Leander Club, Rick Eggington from Leander Club, Tom James from Molesey Boat Club, Alex Gregory in the stroke seat from Reading University Boat Club. They're just coming up towards the finishing line now, a little over 200 metres remaining. Not going to be challenged, they can enjoy this, they know they've done all this asked for them here. They look back and see the world coming at them, but making no impression whatsoever. 100, a little over. Great Britain now safely in the gold medal position. So much, so much going on with this four in the light of other things going on in the uh, in the men's event, the men's uh, team. But they can enjoy the moments. They are gold medalists today, and by some distance, Great Britain first, Greece gets second, and just on the line, the United States of America get the bronze.